Hey guys, Daniel Nerd here. Um, it's about 10 after 7 this morning. Um, it's Wednesday. Today's moving day. Um, I'm about to go and pick up a U-Haul truck. Rented a 10-foot moving truck and I'm um, just going to try to move everything down to my friend uh, Guy's house in San Antonio. So I'm Basically, just taking my uh, Oakley extractor bag, just put in my little first aid um, module, little boo boo kit, my body cam, change of like a clean shirt. So, uh, we'll probably have dinner with Guy and his wife. My wife is gonna follow me in her car and then we'll drive back tonight. I got my power power pack here. So that, that's the good thing about these, keeping everything in these little kind of pouches. You can just pull them out and switch them over. So I'll take that. Uh, this is like, I was when I was packing my extractor bag, I thought this would have been perfect for that uh, Victos. <laughs> uh, ups, what is that, the upscale? The one that my brother-in-law I uh, had sent to my house and then so I wish I had that bag right now. Uh, let's see a couple things. I found my original Marine Corps kind of bag. <laughs> this, this is what we were issued to keep all our junk. I found my uh, old biker jacket, even though I'm not a biker. I got this in 88, 1988 when I was a freshman in college. But um, I did have, I did buy a motorcycle when I first uh, arrived in Hawaii uh, at my duty station in Kaneohe Bay. But uh, that's a long story. I only owned it for three months. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so just wanted to keep you updated. Today's going to be a long, frustrating day. And uh, I just got to try to get all of this stuff, including the couch into that 10 foot truck pretty much by myself. The hardest part is getting the couch. I got it separated into the three segments and then that exercise bike. I'm gonna put it in Guy's garage and then he, he, he might use it. But that's gonna be the hardest part is getting all that stuff loaded onto the truck by myself. I didn't realize that the 10 foot truck doesn't have that skid thing or ramp that slides out. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you updated uh, during the day. What time is it? It's uh, 5 to 11. Just finished eating lunch and getting ready to head down to San Antonio. Um, my initial plan was to mount my what, uh, body cam with the magnetic mount. I was going to just stick it here, use that as like a dash cam. <laughs> but this is not metal, so it doesn't work. So what I ended up doing, let me go ahead and turn this around. My body cam using the epaulette, using the epaulette uh, clip, and I just clipped it around this massive cable, and then that's gonna hang there. Um, I don't know how it's gonna be on the road. It'll probably bounce around a lot, but at least it'll be something and. Um, why do we even have a mirror inside when <laughs> you can't see? Well, I just got out of DFW. This thing is... I don't know, 
Only thing I can think is soft. Everything is soft. The steering, the brakes, suspension, acceleration, everything. It's like driving a big marshmallow. The understeer is just crazy. You gotta really fight to keep it in the lane. Uh, and then the gas mileage, wow, well, it's let's see, it's taken three eighths of a tank just to get out of Dallas. That's probably like a hundred miles. So and it's the din in the cabin is just so bad, I don't know. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Mileage for U-Haul rental, 888-11 miles. We are currently at 3426, uh, 1604, West 1604. Returning this lovely U-Haul. Side, the door looks great. the key in the box. That's what it says? All right, all right, vehicle. Driver's side, it's fine. I know, I'm just, just getting it real fast in case they like, say there was a wheel missing or some shit, you know? Good. They'll climb up on the top and they'll check the top as well. I remember when I returned mine, they're like looking for scratches. Nothing back here, everything looks fine. It's because I the insurance. <laughs> yeah, you got the insurance already, right? There you go. So it doesn't really matter unless you like steal it, right? Looks good. Looks nice. Tires are up. You got the gas on it. Oh, I didn't take a picture of like how full the tank was. Somebody could like come tonight and yeah, siphon the tank, yeah? That's what, that's what I wanted to do. Alright. Yeah, the top looks fine. Boy. I got it. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, there's a the top. If you can see it, just in case. Show the gas. Let's show the gas. Where's the gas? Start it up. Oh, you guys start it? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hold this. Got it. I just started a show full too. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the end, huh? There you go. All the way. Well, past full. Okay, we're good. 88. 11. Alright, got it. Well, um, completed the move. Uh, I had more planned for this video, but my, you know, like everything in life, uh, things change. Uh, drove down the, with the U-Haul on Wednesday. It took seven hours to get here. Traffic was just horrendous. Um, left about 11, a little bit after 11 and then arrived up in San Antonio at my friend Guy's house, probably about 6.30, 6.30-ish, and then um, unpacked, and then returned the truck, like you saw in the video, and then had, had a, a quick quick dinner with a uh, guy and his wife, and you know my wife and me, uh, and then turned around, eight o'clock, drove back to Dallas. Um, I drove my wife's car, I guess I should stop calling her my wife. She's not my wife. Um, drove in the car, had a had a nice drive. We we talked, had you know had some laughs. You know, I, everything was fine. I planned to stay in Dallas this weekend and finish up. You know, packing a few small things and um, cleaning up all the clutter. You know, things like that. That was the plan. But um, I don't know Thursday. She just got tired of seeing my face, I guess, and she kicked me out. <laughs> so t t Thursday night, turned around, drove my my car back down to San Antonio. And so 
This is my first weekend in San Antonio <laughs> in my little apartment. So I really don't know what to do with myself. Um, so I just, I'm in my classroom right now. Um, it's Saturday. So I just came in. I, I've been here probably since nine o'clock. Um, beautiful weather. It's like 56 degrees, you know, hoodie weather, which, which is fantastic. I love this kind of weather. Um, took a, took a walk around the track. We have a track right across the street from the, the school building. Just, you know, contemplating on, on life and thinking about, you know, this new chapter in my life. So kind of depressing. Cause like, I remember like driving down in the U-Haul, I was just, it was, it was sad, <laughs> depressing, you know, the culmination of, you know, my life's efforts, you know, 53 years of my life, just in a few boxes in the back of a, a moving truck. So I don't know. Anyhow, uh, I'm thankful to my friend Guy, you know, like he's right now, he's like the only, uh, only friend I have. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so I came on, decided to come on base and then um, get to my classroom. I, you know, check out my work emails, uh, do some admin stuff. And then, um, yeah, it's a, it's about 11 o'clock almost, five, five to 11. So I will play my guitar. Maybe that was the, my whole week was off because I, I didn't play my guitar like I usually do every morning. So I'll play my guitar now and then, um, Maybe about 2.30, I'll head out to Guy's house so I can watch my Michigan Wolverines <laughs> play Nebraska. So, um, I guess that's about it. That's, uh, that's really all I had. I wanted to kind of get this video out to you guys and um, not leave you guys hanging, you know, like what's going on. But, uh, yeah, uh, I think that's it, you know. My marriage is finished and... Uh, She's moving on, I'm moving, trying to move on. We'll see. Um, waiting for January, uh, that's when I'll get my medical check. Hopefully I'll get cleared to go to Vietnam. And six months in Vietnam and then come back and who knows, who knows what, <laughs> what the world will, will offer. But um, that's all, I just wanted to kind of, kind of finish up this video and then let you know how things are going and I'm still alive so um, probably won't be making many videos in the near future uh, it's been almost two years yeah in December it'll be two years since I started this YouTube channel so thank you to all of you for you know supporting me and for those who you know been along for the for the for the entirety of the journey, you know, at Little Klondike, Klondike Outdoors, he was kind of one of the first early subscribers and we've, we've had conversations quite a bit. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know, there's just too many, too many I can't think right now, but <laughs> I just uh, thank, thanks for your support. And um, if I do have anything interesting, I'll, I'll try to post something, but Really, everything, my life is just in turmoil right now. Everything's in boxes and I have no idea. You know, I, I didn't label anything. I just threw everything into boxes. So yeah, that's, that's my life right now. So anyhow, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting and following. And uh, I'll see you whenever the next time.